but it's not good for the 300, man. What up, people? It's Authentic Ben, and we back with another video, man. Got the Tesla right there. About to roll out. I'm right here at uh, Ralph Sellers. About to pick my car back up. Y'all been watching the videos. I just dropped the car off, and they gave me an update, man. They called me with an update, and it's not good at all. So, basically, on the 300, you had a crossbar, a cross beam, or whatever. I might have the terminology wrong, but it broke off and hit the exhaust system and also damaged the catalytic converter. And they can't even fix it. They can't even do the work. So right now I'm about to pick the car up and take it to a shop that actually work on stuff like that. And man, this is crazy, man. This is really, really crazy. I didn't expect this to happen, but the car is right here right now. About to pick it up and see what we got, man. There it is. They got the thing back out here. Still looking good, but it's not good for the 300, man. Not good at all for the 300. Man, man, man. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and start this car up. Uh, hopefully we can we can get the sound of it, like high sound when it's starting up. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and insert some pictures while I'm talking. That way you can see exactly what the damage is, what it looked like. You know, he must have hit, bro, I don't know what this dude hit, but it peeled the whole brace back, as you can see in the pictures. But like I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and start this car up so um, we can hopefully get a sound, see how it's sounding. Sound real bad. I'm pretty sure I can't pick it up because I know in the last video I up updated, I uploaded, it just wouldn't come through the way I hear it. And I, as I hit the gas, if you know what an RT sound like, you know this ain't it. This just ain't it. But we gonna get this thing done. About to head to the collision center right now. And um, hopefully we can get this thing worked on so we can get this thing back making money you know it ain't making no money right now so we got to get this baby back right so we can get this baby making money oh y'all let me know if y'all hear that but what it is they said uh the damage to the bottom of it caused damage to the exhaust system and did damage to the catalytic converters, which that's, that expands my reach when it comes to, uh, to you know, car parts and stuff like that. That just ain't me. Yeah, so uh, I can't even point and tell you where the catalytic converter is located, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm mostly into like, you know, um, aesthetic mods and I, I dabble around the engine, but I'm not digging into no engine, nothing like that. So I really, don't know i really truly don't know but they said it caused damage to the catalytic converter and did damage to the underbody of the car so we gotta get they can't even work on it we gotta get a shop that does that and um 
and go from there, man. I couldn't even do this. They 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 wouldn't even touch it. The dealership wouldn't even touch it. So you know it's bad. So um, I'm just hoping this other shop has no issues. Like I said, shout out uh shout out Mandy with Ralph Sellers. She gave me a whole list of places to go to. She said she know the people personally. So that's what we about to do right now. About to go get with them. And um, you know, hopefully we can get this thing all sorted out, all taken care of because this car sounds terrible right now. I'm gonna put it in the park right quick. Hit that gas. It sounds bad, bro. It sounds real bad. And um, y'all can see the pictures that Mandy, Mandy even sent me pictures. You know what I'm saying? So I can get a clear view of it while it was on the rack. You know, otherwise I couldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to see exactly what the damage looked like. So once again, shout out Mandy at Ralph Sellers, man. She ain't had to do all that, you know. But uh, headed to the shop, man. We're gonna see what it's about. We're gonna see, man. So we just pulling up the Gillery's and look, man, the Tesla followed me here. Bro, that Tesla got a mind of its own, huh? That Tesla is something else. You are something else, Tesla. So, man, we waiting on them to come give me the estimate right now. Um, you got one more in front of me right here. But, I don't know. I don't know how long this process is even going to take, man. They look like they heavy staffed and got so much going on. With the no. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I just need, I got a cross on broken on my car. Under the car? Yeah, underneath my car. So I need an estimate on getting that fixed and everything. Um, well, if it's just suspension that you need, you probably would need to go to a mechanic shop rather than the body shop. Uh, it's not suspension. Oh, uh, it's like a, there's something broken underneath my car. Um, well, I would have to actually get somebody to put it up in the air so they can see it. Right now my rack is tied up. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of somebody close by here. This ain't good, man. I, I'm not getting good vibes already, man. I might just go to another spot she recommended, man. All right, so now we pulling up at Boudreaux's, man. I did business with these people before. They um actually took the springs off my scat pack charger and put the factory springs back on when I had the issue with the 315. So, they was pretty good, man. Customer service was on point and everything. So, um, we gonna see if they could check it out, if they could work on it, um, and just go from here. I'm gonna go see what they talking about real quick. How you doing? Alright, how are you? Alright, I came to uh, get my car looked at. The uh, cross arm that's holding the exhaust up, mm -hmm. it broke off because my car is lowered. I didn't touch the exhaust, so I mean, I can do anything. Alright, good, good. There are certain things that we choose not to do. Yeah. Show me a Alright. Um. Want to look at the clearance see so with dragon whenever you hit something or no it's not it's just making a loud noise when i accelerate uh -huh. every time i hit the gas i took it to the dealership and they said they didn't want to they didn't want to touch it they didn't want to fix it but it came from hitting a speed bump and they sent me pictures of it it's a little arm bent into the muff into the yeah. not the muffler but the they don't want to fool with it because they can't have a welding machine i know why oh I okay you. i got you hey. I can do that. It was that and what else? Um, and add factory springs back to it. Yeah. So you don't want it lowered anymore. You nah, want the standard. I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah, that's no problem. I okay, can do that. Good, Come good. to the last paper. All right. I have it. It's still the same as her race car. Okay. That's the owner of the race car. Yes, indeed. We're in the middle of rebuilding the Bronco right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Somebody stole it, and so when we got it back, we ripped it apart, and now we're completely updated, blacked it out, and black bumpers and black rims and yes, everything. Yes, indeed. And Get it right, huh? Shield. Yeah, uh, we put um, a nine-inch screen 
in the center of oh, it. Oh, in so, a Bronco? Yeah. So oh, now it's got man. The <laughs> and the inside of Updated. It what year is that? Like a 90 something? 96. Maybe? 96. It is actually the exact same copy of OJ's. Yeah, it sure is. We, 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 that's <laughs> the OJ his mobile. Name. We call it OJ. <laughs> we call it OJ. That's OJ. <laughs> so when we talk, we're like, hey, you done with OJ? Are you doing this with OJ? That's who we talk about. It's OJ. Yes, indeed. Um, we don't do the dragsters anymore. <laughs> oh, I saw them at the track when I went. Uh -huh. They was racing. Little kids was racing These them. These are the junior dragsters. This is his daughter right there. That was hers. That was her car. I think I saw her up in here last time I came yeah, in. She actually races with her husband now. He oh, has okay. a, um, a red, uh, it's a Chevy. I Come can't out. think of it. But it's completely modded out. They, he did He did all. He built it from ground up all himself. Yes, and they indeed. And um, Marcia racing. Mm. Yep. Him and her travel all over the place and do it. But yeah. That's tight. Still, <laughs> but yeah, we're one of the few classic custom shops left yeah. that can pretty much do everything. You name it, we got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> we make it happen. Yeah, we still. We it's fun. Mm -hmm. I love it. The classic cars. Oh I'd yeah. I'd rather do the custom classic cars. Yeah. And get rid of all the new stuff. So I, I mean, guess new you, stuff's nice, but the custom stuff is what I like to do. I guess so. I'll go to cruising the coast, scraping the coast, and all that. Yep. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. In fact, on the cruise on the coast that just that they just did the news interview for or whatever, that was two of my customers. The really? one in the silver uh, Corvette, the '82 Corvette, that's one of our customers, and the other one had the custom um, Army Jeep. Oh damn! The, the big big guy that was on the news. Uh, both of them are both my customers. Damn. Yeah. That's what's that, up. You happen to show up at the right shop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bruh, that's what I mean by real, real dope vibes, man. Come to Boudreaux if you need some work done. Man, if I ain't feeling the vibe, it's like I don't even want to do service. I don't even want to do business with you. But man, real, real cool lady. I talked with Boudreaux the last time I was here. He was real cool. I don't know why I ain't think to come here before. It was probably like a year or something ago, but uh, glad I came here this time. Real, real dope people, man. But uh, I guess I'll let y'all know how everything turns out. Uh, with the repair, but that's gonna wrap up this video, man. Make sure you follow the Instagram, Authenticated. And until next time, Authentic Benny, I'm out. <laughs>